Good morning everyone, so today it's minus 8 and the real feel and near the surface it's minus 8 and it's so cold <laughs> oh. But today I don't want to do any woodland or landscape photography because I don't feel that anything yeah, makes me want to take the camera and start taking photos because uh, no green, no yellow, everything is dead and we are I think we started to be in winter and uh, today I want to actually uh, try a new tool I got two days ago it's about macro photography it's close-up ring or macro ring also you can call them also macro ring now some of you may say why you do sometimes uh, macro photos or macro videos be you are landscape or woodland photographer uh, I am actually I I love both uh, of them. I love the landscape photography and I love also the macro photography. Who knows me? Know that I knows that I I do macro photography from years ago. And don't think this is a sponsorship or anything like that. I just got them and I want to try them in front of you. Like always, I like to try anything new in front of you and say my opinion honestly, honestly. And so I will try them now with the 50 millimeter lens. I will search for any interesting subject and I will try the uh, plus one or four. I have plus one, two, four or ten. I will try them together and what I like about them is, is that you can use two of them. For example, I can use the ten and the four together and I can have fourteen. So I will take a photo of these leaves here and I will show you all the photos at the beginning only with the 50 millimeter lens and with uh, plus one with plus two with plus four with plus eight and I will write everything every photo I will write uh, which lens I did use and uh, at the end the last uh, photo I think I will try as I said plus four and plus ten together and it will be so close so let's try that so this is the first photo with the 50 millimeter lens As you can see right now, I'm using the plus 4 and after that the plus 10 together. And that means plus 14 and that will give me very macro, I, I, I can't call it, I think I can't call it close up. It's a macro photo now because plus 14 is so, so close. I like about this method more than reversing my lens is that when I reverse my lens there's no functions at all for the uh, focus ring which means you can't play with the composition with the composition as you want because there's no focus ring and you have to stick at one place for example now when I'm using the macro ring I have the focus ring in functions and I can go back and forth as I want and I still can focus to the subject that I want to take a photo of but when the, f the lens is reversed and there's no function functions on the f of the <laughs> sorry and there's no functions for the focus ring that means I have to stick in the same place if I went back a little bit the subject will be out of focus and if I uh, went forth a little bit the subject will be also out of focus and that's why I can't choose the composition that I want but with this ring I can choose the distance from the subject which uh, with using the ring if I choose for example uh, the ring number four I have more distance than the ring number ten and the same for the ring number two I have also more distance than the subject and I still also can go back and forth and playing with the focus ring And 
another good thing about using this uh, method is that I can, I still can make uh, focus stack when I revert the lens, as I said, because there's no functions for the focus ring, that means I have to take the camera back and forth to make focus stack and this is so hard because if you make a little um, wrong movement with the camera the photoshop will not be able to stack the photos and will stack them so bad way with this method i can uh, let the camera on the tripod and with the focus ring i can as i said make focus stack obviously so easily because the camera is steady and the subject is steady and what is moving is only the focus ring so i will end the video right here thank you very much for watching and i hope it was helpful and it helps you to, de to decide more about this product and uh, for me honestly it's so functional and easily it's, it's easily to use more than the reverse uh, lens you know when you are reversing your lens you are in a danger that the uh, the lens may have a lot of dust inside it and I found it more functional for all the reasons that I mentioned in this video thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and if you are in more interested in macro photography you can find as I said you can find my uh, link here to to the playlist of all macro photos and thank you very much again for watching this video subscribe if you would and see you next next Sunday after two weeks